So what is the one consistent system that I have used for over eight years? And I bet you're not going to guess what it is. So what do you think it is? It's actually a chore chart. It's a chore chart with my four children. And we have been using this system, and I mean consistently, day in and day out for almost nine years now. I bet you didn't see that one coming. But I get the question asked a lot, how are you able to do everything that you do in each and every day? And it's because I use systems. And systems are really workflows that you implement over and over and over again. So I can't wait to get into today's episode because I'm going to show you how you can use systems, not only in your business, which I'm a huge proponent of, but also in life because we all try to juggle that work-life balance. This is Business Plan of Action, your one-stop resource to help you build systems and workflows into your business to become a productivity ninja. Today's episode is brought to you by Trello, my favorite productivity tool and game changer in my business. See why one of my clients had to say, you've given me back at least five hours a week. Immense thanks. Let's get into today's episode. So over nine years ago, my husband and I made the decision that we were going to homeschool our children. And with that decision came a lot of responsibility. But I have a master's degree in education, so I thought, I got this no problem at all. Y'all, I was a hot mess. And let's just think about this. I went from my children going out, going to public school, going to magnet schools, and I had my day to kind of get everything done in the house, pick them up, and then go to different activities, to now all of the balls that I'm juggling, I'm juggling even more. And I'm feeling really guilty because am I giving my children everything they need? A good day in my house was when all of the timers on my dishwasher and my washing machine were going off. I didn't even know where my vacuum cleaner was. All of the other responsibilities and business, they all went by the wayside. And I thought, well, I could continue to go like this. I could continue just to run myself into the ground, or I could enlist the help of four very capable people in my house to get things done. I mean, this was a family decision that we were making, and so I needed to include my team. So what did I do? I got really, really crafty. I put together a chart, we held a family meeting, and we were off to the races. And I think today is an important episode because I'm going to talk about how I took the chaos that was going on into my life, created a system, and literally have implemented it almost nine years now. As um, the children have grown, some of them have graduated to other more quote unquote advanced tasks, but really the overall tasks that we do in my house really have not changed. Because let's face it, the way I approached doing this particular system is I needed to look at my end goal. What did I really need to have happen each and every day in order for my house to function? And then I just broke it down into four different tasks. So let's go over what those tasks are because this may help you as well. So the four tasks that I had was number one, dogs, trash, mail, and I'm going to go over each one of these. So dogs, trash, mail, birds, chickens, and vacuum. I don't know if you have chickens or not dish and laundry. So these are the four tasks that I needed to have completed in my home each and every day to kind of be at peace and be able to start my day with a clean slate. I didn't need to go into homeschooling worrying about the laundry, worrying about all of the dishes that were in the sink, all of those things. I did not need to worry about those. So I enlisted my team, we got together, and what I did basically for each task was I modeled. This is what dog's trash mail looks like. And that's pretty. That's a pretty fun job in our house. We walk the dogs, which if you've listened to any of my other episodes, we have two English Mastiffs that are about 300 pounds total, not each. Um, let, and they take out the trash, which is not so much fun, but then they get to go check the mail. And we live on six acres of property, so it, that's almost kind of a fun job because you drive down the road to pick up the mail, not drive, you ride down the road on your bicycle, pick up the mail and come back. So that is the first task. And I modeled, this is what this, this is what this task looks like from start to finish all day long and kind of set those expectations. 
Now the second is birds, chickens, and vacuum. So we have a bunch of dogs, the two mastiffs. Um, we have a parakeet, so it just made sense to add vacuum to this particular task. And because we had the parakeet and then we added the chickens, birds, birds, it still all made sense. So for this particular task, all you need to do is to make sure that the parakeet is fed and taken care of. You need to vacuum the house and then you need to take care of our chickens. I love having chickens. It's been a lot of fun, a big learning process, but um, it's, it's something that we have enjoyed doing here on our property. Now, the third task is dishes. And so what that means is literally emptying the dishwasher and putting the dishes in the dish dishwasher. Um, and as the children have grown, they have graduated. My little guy, he first just started helping with emptying the dishwasher. And now he's graduated and he can do the full task from start to finish. And then finally, laundry. You can imagine with six people in our family, there is a lot of laundry. So the responsibility of laundry as it stands today is that you were to do two complete loads. What that means and what I modeled was that you need to put it in the wash machine. You need to then uh, shift it to the dryer. Dryer, you need to fold and then fold, you need to return. Now this is another one of those tasks that my little guy could not wait to graduate and do the things that the big kids were doing but he was too little. So we would help him take the laundry down to the laundry room and then do little things like separating lights and darks. And then he has graduated now. He is 11 years old and he does two loads of laundry a day. And you may be thinking, oh my gosh, this is Nirvana. I have to implement this system. Nine times out of 10, the system works. Do we have breakdowns still to this day? Absolutely. But one of the things that this system has done is really teach my children life skills. The biggest thing when we started this system is that I didn't want the children to feel like I was putting work off on them. It wasn't about that. It was that we have made this commitment to homeschool and together as a team, these are things that need to get done in our house each and every day. Do your task and you don't even need to hear from me. And it's great because I'm the CEO. I am the one who moves the children each and every day through all of the tasks. And what has been interesting is that um, the children will end up helping each other. If one has soccer practice late and can't do the dishes, then another one will step in and help. If I ask, you know, who is DTM, dogs, trash, mail, uh, they can quickly go, they can see who that is. And if someone can't be there, they will help each other out, believe it or not. Now, sometimes even that doesn't always work, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to teach my children how to take care of themselves. These are all life skills that they are going to need when they go out into the real world. Now, here's another question that I get. Do you pay your children an allowance? And we do not. I mean, let's face it, who pays you to wake up in the morning, brush your teeth, make your bed and put your clothes on? I would love to get paid to do that. But again, I'm going to go back to we work together as a team. And in doing so, these are the things that just really you need to do to function each and every day. Like I talk about, have that nice clean slate so we can start our work each and every day. We do give um, small amounts of money for those jobs that are above and beyond. Things that we do, you know, on the property, yard work, um, cleaning out the chicken coop, things like that we do have opportunities for the kids to earn money. It's not that we don't want to, you know, let them be independent in that way. It is just that, you know, for your basic things that we're doing in the house each and every day, we do not give an allowance for. All right. But the biggest thing that I want to share with you today in this particular episode is that I want you to think about whatever problem that you're having or whatever chaos that you're feeling that you're having. And I want you to stop a minute and I want you to look at what the ultimate goal is. And that's really how you start to um, create a workflow and implement the system. Because all a system is, is a workflow that you can implement day in, day out, day in, day out. Now, for this chore chart with the children, have things changed? The chores themselves haven't changed. Some of the way that they do the chores have changed. And so really your workflow needs to be really fluid. Sometimes you're going to add things to it. Sometimes you're going to take away things and you're going to get really, really, really efficient. 
And friends, I use systems in my life, at home, and in my life, in my business. It, it's almost a blur. And it's really things that kind of keep me sane, what I call keeping the spiders out of my head. All right? So I hope looking at what I use in my personal life um, with my children helps to show you how you can implement systems in your life as well as systems in your business. Now, I have something special for you today. I have an opportunity for you to look over my shoulder when I put together a Pinterest workflow. And you're like, how do we go from chores to Pinterest? How is that? Most online business owners have a Pinterest account, manage a Pinterest account, use Pinterest for their business. So I thought it was a great opportunity to show you how I put together a workflow and implement a system for a tool that everybody, most everybody uses. All you need to do is to click on the link below. You can enter your name and your email and we will direct you right to a video where I'm going to show you behind the scenes exactly how I put together and then you get to take this template that I've already put together for you. All right. So I hope this was helpful for you and until next week. This has been the Business Plan of Action. For today's show notes, go to businessplanofaction.com. Until next week, what action are you taking in your business?